Hey everybody, it's Fury, and I'm gonna to talk to you about breathing. In our approach to fitness and helping people out here at the Speakeasy of Strength, breathing is the first thing we work on. Why? Well, let's say you're dealing with back pain, knee pain, movement restrictions, you're struggling to lose weight, you're plateauing out, you're under a lot of stress, you deal with a lot of tension. Breathing is the first thing we want to get you doing better, more optimally, before we worry about how heavy you're lifting or what your hinge or squat look like. Because if we're breathing off, we're going to be fighting against the wall. And, and what do I mean by that? Well, if you had a, a child of your own or a cousin, somebody that's a newborn, you'll see them breathe in and out of their nose, and you'll see their belly fill, really fill with air in and out. Uh, that's where it starts. It does go up into the chest, but it starts there, right? That's diaphragmatic breathing. And that creates a response called the parasympathetic breathing response. And that's our nervous systems, our bodies, baseline that we are safe and able to move throughout this world that we're in. Now, when you chest breathe, like as we get older, a lot of us do, whether we realize it or not, our brain, our nervous system, perceives that as threat. That's our fight or flight response, but it starts to create restrictions because it's getting ready to act against something threatening us. The problem is, the nervous system, our brains aren't perceiving if that threat is a car's about to hit us, or the boss is around the corner, or I have a deadline. So we get stuck in that. And that starts to create movement restrictions, limitations. With that, movement compensations comes. With that, the pain response, if something's like triggering, the brain won't let that go because it thinks you're in a state of alarm or threat. So the first thing we do here is we think about breathing. So I'm gonna help you out there. If you're feeling really stressed, this goes with my undesk video that I've done before. I want you to just think about breathing in and out of the nose, breathing low. Think about breathing from the taint up, like all the way low, pelvic floor up. Right? And not up here. Try practicing that, practicing that for two minutes a day and see how that starts to help in terms of stress, uh, in terms of tight shoulders, cranky lower back, I'm not even going to talk about any specific movements. Just think about how you're breathing. Because if the nervous system is perceiving a threat, it's going to put up alarms to protect you. The problem is it doesn't know on a subconscious level what's actively an, an actual threat or just you're in a threatening perceived situation for yourself. Or we're just unaware of what's happening. So breathe to let go. That's where we start here. It's a key element of our approach. Keep checking out the website and our social media to stay on top of stuff. We're going to go into more detail about the things and how we do them here at the Speakeasy. And I hope they help. Uh, feel free to come in and we can talk more about it.